Hi, good evening. Hi, Caro. Hello, Wilfredo. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? Nice to see you, Caro. How was Thank everything you. with your mother-in-law? I think it's fine. Yeah, yesterday at the midnight, uh, she was receiving the Sacamil Hospital. So uh, she has the treatment now. So we are more relaxed today. And last night we could, uh, we could, we could sleep a little more. Okay. So yeah. it's okay. Thank you for asking. Yes, excellent, Caro. I'm glad to hear she's better now. All right, very good. Okay, so I have Gabriel also in class. Yomara, Kenya. Hi, Kenya. Wilfredo, Carlos, Mauricio, Luis, of course. Really. All right, Carlos. Hi. Carlita, hello, it's Stephanie. All right, guys, very nice. Thank you for joining class again. All right, so we officially begin unit three today. And in unit three, vamos a ver un poquito sobre el simple past. De hecho, no un poquito, bastante. All right, we just need to pay attention to that right now. Hi, Stephanie. Very good. Yesterday, nos quedamos on page 29, 28. Voy a presentar acá solo para recordar where we are or where we were yesterday so you guys remember this, okay? Now, here we have, uh, this was the last exercise que estábamos haciendo. What can you, when could you, where could you? Uh, how could you? All right. Who can you? Why could you? All right. So here we have six questions. Some of them are using can. Some of them are using could. All right. Usted podía poner lo que fuera, pero esa inicio de la pregunta la tenía que dejar. What can you? All right. Vamos a ver la primera. Vamos a ver aquí. Um, Xiomara, what was your question with what can you? What can you? Let me be, what can you play? Oh, what can you play? All right, okay. Now, si usted pone what can you play, estamos usando el can como habilidad, ¿verdad? No de posibilidad, pero no hay problema. All right, that's okay. Okay. All right, so that's nice. What can you play? Ajá, Caro. For example, if I, uh, if I say, what can you tell me about you? It's okay, the use of the can? Yes, what can you tell me about you? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. Sí, me ayudan con un micrófono que está abierto por ahí. That would be very nice. Thank you. All right, sorry guys, but me está, no me está cargando eso aquí. Okay, very good. All right, so the, anybody else? Alguien más tiene otra pregunta with what can you? ¿Quién más hizo otra pregunta with what can you? Nadie? Carla? What can you? Cook. What can you cook? Yes. All right. All right. Okay. What can you cook? Very nice. Yes, Gabriel. Tell me. Um, good night, teacher. Good evening. Yes. Good evening, teacher. Uh, what you? What can you do to fix the computer? What can you do to fix the computer? All right. That's okay. All right, what can you do to fix the computer? Very nice. Anybody else with what 
can you? Anybody else with what can you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Oscar. Uh, I class the yesterday, no? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, number four? Yes. How could you buy this car? Okay. All right. So you were doing the other one, right? Number four? Okay. How could you? All right. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. All right. Me, les voy a hacer yo preguntas y ustedes me contestan. Okay. Vamos a ver. All right. Let's see. Um, Kenya, what can you do to help me understand English? Kenya, what can you do to help me understand English? Uh, I can. Uh, I can uh, English Corporativo. Okay, yeah, uh, you can go to English Corporativo. That could be all right. Another can be I can speak in English to you. All right, very good, Kenya. Thank you. A ver, let me see here who else I have available. Wilfredo, when could you go to um, the new office? When could you go to the new office? I went to go uh... when Not to gen uh... Okay, when could you go to the new office? ¿Cómo contestaríamos eso? Ayudémoslo ahí oh, y ayudémosle a Wilfredo. When could you go? Mi, mi pregunta es esta. When could you go? ¿Cómo, uh -huh. ¿Cómo podría llegar a la oficina? ¿Cuándo? ¿A cuándo? Este... When could you go to the new office? Esa es mi pregunta. ¿Cuándo podría llegar a, lo, a la nueva oficina? ¿Cuándo podría, Wilfredo? ¿Cómo iniciamos la respuesta? I when I could, porque tenemos el uso del could, ¿verdad? I could. I could. Tomorrow. Okay. In I the could. morning. Ah, very nice. I could go tomorrow in the morning. Muy bien. Very nice. Thank you. All right. So, when could you go to the new office? I could go tomorrow in the morning. Excellent. Very nice. All right, la veamos aquí. Luis, no sé si está disponible, Luis, o todavía no. Ha escrito en el grupo que va de camino. Ah, perdón, no había visto. Thank you. A ver, Carla Lisset. Ah, sí. Okay, very good. Carla Lisset. Where can you, se la voy a escribir aquí. Where can you send the new, where? Where can you send the new material, Carla? Carla, where can you send the new material? I can office. Ok, muy bien. Solo contestémosla eh, con la estructura. I can, uy, perdón. I can, y luego el verbo. ¿Cuál sería, Carla? I can. The new material office. Sí, pero necesito un verbo después de can. I can go. El mismo mm -hmm. verbo que yo usé, Carlita. Where can you send? I can you send I can. the new material uh -huh. office. Okay, I can send the new material to the office. Muy bien. O to, si fuera la bodega, o si fuera la oficina principal. All right, very nice. Thank you. Um, Let's see. What about, uy, hay varios ahorita sin cámara. No sé si están por ahí. 
A ver, um, Caro. How, yes, teacher. Thank you. How could you? How could you? I don't know, Caro. <laughs> How could you? Yeah, how could you travel? How could you travel from Colombia to El Salvador? Um, I could travel by plane. Okay, yeah, very nice. Okay. That's the only way that I guess. Uh, well, driving, <laughs> but it would take you a long time. <laughs> you, you, uh, Besides that, the time I am not sure if you can pass for. Oh, you're right. By, by car in between. Colombia and Panama. Uh, pal, uh, Colombia and Panama, oh. Costa Rica and Panama. I am not sure. Oh. I have, I have had that uh, question all the time. <laughs> oh, we need to find out, Caro. <laughs> Yes, I promise I'm going to give you an answer. Okay, excellent. Thank you. All right, very nice. Thank you. Yvette, who can you? Está por ahí, Yvette, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 teacher. Who can you speak? Uy, empezó a llover otra vez. English to. Who can you speak English to, Yvette? Eh, who can you speak English to? Veamos. Sería quién. Mm. Ay. Muy bien. Ay. Ay. Call. En este caso estamos usando el can. Podríamos decir I can. Uh, I can speak English. Um, to, to work, um, como para mejorar mi trabajo. Ah, solo que en esa nos está preguntando how, no es cómo, sino con quién. Oh, oh, ok. Uh -huh. Sería, I can speak English, um, my, my brother. My brother, muy bien, very good to my brother. Very nice. Thank you, Yvette. That was a nice answer. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so who can you speak English to? I can speak English to my brother. Excellent. Very nice. Maylene, um, why could you? Why could you understand them? ¿Me entiende la pregunta, Maylene? Um, un poquito me quiero es como por qué pudo entenderles por qué podría entenderles entenderles uh, respondería con I call eh, 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 respondería con because ok because Because I could, ¿verdad? Because because I... the response, the 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 the, the response, how do you say respuesta? Respond, yes. Okay, so the because uh, <clears throat> ¿verdad? Because the re response is very very easy. <laughs> <laughs> because the response is very easy. All right, very nice. Okay. All right, so remember guys, cuando hablamos de can, voy a dejar de compartir aquí. Cuando hablamos de can or could, depende del contexto, we're going to use it for um, abilities, all right? Or we're going to use it for possibilities. Deme un segundito, por favor, just one second. All right, va a depender de lo que usted quiere preguntar, de lo que le están preguntando, si usted entiende o usa el can o el could for possibility or ability. All right, si yo le digo, can you speak English? Esa es habilidad, no es posibilidad. Si yo le digo, can you come tomorrow? Esa es posibilidad, puede venir mañana. 
when can you come? ¿Cuándo puede venir? Ah, mañana en la mañana. No, hasta el sábado. Tal vez la otra semana. Mm, I'm not sure. O sea, hay varias formas de. All right, but it depends the usage of it. All right. Any questions about that? Any questions? No. Ahora, recuerde la estructura en inglés es bien um, fácil de seguir. Si la pregunta dice, por ejemplo, when can you come? When can you come? Obviamente le estoy haciendo la pregunta a usted. Usted me va a decir, I can come. Usa lo mismo que yo puse en la pregunta. Por eso es importante escuchar. <clears throat> when can you come? I can come on Monday. Y ojo, tenemos que entender o recordar los significados de las WH questions para no confundir. Si yo le digo, when can you come? Usted no me puede decir, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I can come eh, to the new office porque no le pregunté where. Dije when. When can you come? Tiempo, ¿verdad? Momento del día, un mes, un año, mañana, en la mañana, cuando sea. When can you come? Entonces, es importante recordarnos de las WH questions, ¿ok? I don't know if you guys have any questions. No questions? All right. Solo déjeme entonces tomar la primera asistencia and then we can... Um, Let's start with a new topic. Ya vamos a Give me one second, guys, please. This is very slow today, I guess, because of the rain. All right, Carlos Eduardo Artiga Berrios. Present teacher. Hey, Carlos. Today is the 28th. Very good. Um, Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Present teacher. Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Carolina Zuniga Suárez. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodríguez. Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Yes. All right, um, Stephanie Michelle Zuniga Hueso. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Fanny Yamile Dominguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lizette Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Kenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Meilin Janet Mendoza Manzano Montoya, perdón. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Arelí Ayala Ramírez. Present. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Present teacher. Aquí sigo trabajando todavía, oiga. Ok, está bien. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisnero Rosales. Present. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes, Carlos Josué Chávez, Carla Lizet García Lemos. Thank you. Present. Yes, thank you. And Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. All right. Present, teacher. Yes, yes, thank you. All right. Okay, guys. So let's go on here with the new um, topic. Here we have this, it says page 29, unit number three, I will be able to process and understand customers' opinions about a product or service they received, 
Number one, eh, ask a partner, why do customers call? How can you help them? And write a list of ideas. A ver. Number two, ya vamos a regresar al número uno. Number two says, listen to the teacher, read the words. Ayudan con un micrófono, porfa. Write what do customers and companies representatives do. Hay un micrófono abierto por ahí, si me ayudan con ese micrófono. No sé cuál micrófono está abierto. Ah. All right, okay. Entonces tenemos pick up the phone, understand, explain, complain, help, request information, get prices, provide one's information, assist, buy, call, receive. All right, so these are the words that we have here. All right, a ver. Um, Chávez me va a leer de la 1 a la 4, Luis de la 5 a la 8, and Xiomara from 9 to 12. Ok, teacher, de la 1 a la 4, me dijo. Yes, please. Ok, the first one, pick up the phone. Uh, understand, explain, and complain. Excellent, thank you. All right. Next one from five to eight. Ok, teacher, help, request information, get price, provide one's information. Excellent. From 9 to 12, Xiomara. Assist, buy, call, and receive. And receive. Very good. All right. So what I want you to do right now, lo vamos a hacer individual. Vamos a hacer acá. You have customer and you have company's representative. Cuando hablamos de customer representative, we're talking about uh, maybe uh, customer service, maybe the seller, or maybe human resources, quien represente la empresa, all right? But usually it's customer service, el vendedor. All right, so here we have, eh, tenemos esta lista de 12, all right, de 12 words, all right? Usted lo va a escribir o dividir cuáles son palabras que representan a un customer and other words that represent the company representative. For example, pick up the phone, ¿quién lo haría? A customer or a company's representative. Ahora, si usted siente que pick up the phone, lo pueden hacer ambos, póngalo en ambos espacios. All right? So let's work on that right now. Ahorita individual. Teacher, what is complain? Queja. Okay. Yes. Thank you.
Are we done? Are we finished? All right, let's see. Let's check this together. Customer. Xiomara, what do you have for customer? The customer pick up the phone, the prices, call, buy, assist, and understand. All right, okay. Okay, anybody else? Anything, any other word for customer, guys? Alguien más escribió words for customer. Request information. Yes, request information. Yes, another one. Complain. Complain, yes. All right. Bye. Bye. Yes. Get right. Get Get right. Bright. Get right. Yes. Bye. Mm -hmm. All right. What about the representative? Anybody for customers representative? Help. Explain. Explain. Yes. Another one. Understand. Help. Okay. Understand the customer. Yes. Assist them. Assist, yes, okay. Provide one information. Um, provide one's information would be for the customer or the company's representative. Um, you know, we'll say in company representative. Yeah, company's representative, okay. Pero quien proporciona la información personal, maybe is the customer. Depende. Uh, teacher, I, I, put in, <laughs> I put in the customer and the company's representative because the, the company representative give information about the product or the service. Right. But the customer mm -hmm. can give information about the, what I need, the request, the yeah. specification, right. information about the, the address. Yes. All right, yeah, could be for both, actually, yeah, I think it makes sense, thank you. All right, anything else? No. All right. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. 
we are going to work on this. Choose the department where you work in and a friend. Explain to Fernando what activities do you, you do there. All right. ¿Quién trabaja aquí en ventas? Anybody that works in sales or sales related? Or nobody? Me more or less. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, um, what do customers call? Do you have like customers calling Carolina in your office or your uh, business? I'm sorry. Can you repeat me? Yes, of course. Do customers call the office for anything, Carolina, or you don't work with customers? Uh, I am in the process to get to get uh, customers, and now I am working uh, by social meetings like Facebook, so the clients call to my phone, my cell phone. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. In my specific case. Right. Okay. Interesting. What about anybody else? Anybody else that work for sales or on sales? Okay. That's okay. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Vamos a hacer dos cosas. La primero que quiero que hagan es en su libro. Give me one second here. On your book, solo el primer audio funciona. Entonces, ese es, eh, Caro, si me ayuda mandándolo al, al grupo. All right. El primero nada más. No funciona. All right. Donde dice, listen to two people giving reasons why to buy something and complete the exercise. Entonces, van a escuchar y van a hacer el ejercicio que viene ahí dentro de listening. Ese es el único que van a hacer. Eso es lo primero. When you finish, I want you to do the following. Van a hacer otra, una conversación, pero uno de ustedes va a ser el customer and the other one, the company's representative. Pero dentro de la conversación, mm -hmm. quiero que me ocupen estas 12 palabras. Si logran es, es, ocupar las 12, súper bien. If not, por lo menos la mitad. All right. A usted, ingéniese ahí cómo va a poner help, cómo va a poner request information. Mm -hmm. Call, understand. Esas palabras son bien fáciles de incluir en oraciones, ¿ok? Eh, la idea es por lo menos seis de estas palabras, ¿ok? Dentro de su conversación. If I'm working with Luis, entonces Luis decidimos, nomás entramos Luis, ¿quién va a ser el customer y quién va a ser el company's representative? Luego de eso, vemos cómo vamos incluyendo estas palabras dentro de la, dentro de la conversación, ¿de acuerdo? All right, yes. Trate de escribirlo, por favor, en la computadora para poder uh, compartirlo cuando regresemos. Ok, so, son las 8.35. Hmm, hmm. Maybe en unos 15 minutos más o menos cierro salas. Traten de terminarlo en ese momento, ¿de acuerdo? Los que no pueden participar se me quedan acá para poder yo unir quienes se quedan solos y solas. All right, so let's see here. Carlos está dos veces, ¿verdad? Alguien se va a quedar solo o sola. That's okay, no hay problema. Vamos, okay. abro salas, váyanse a sus grupos y ya veo yo quién no puede unirse. All right, ya los uno con alguien más.
Hola, Evelyn. Hola, buenas noches, Ticha. Hola, buenas noches. En tres minutitos voy a sacar a sus compañeros, Evelyn. Si gusta, me espera por aquí. De acuerdo. Gracias, Ticha.
con el hermano 